Okay, go ahead. Welcome, everyone. I'm Stephen Garvey. I'm here with Roger. He's he's a he's a he's a member of ours from uh, Southern Alberta. Uh, he's a true Albertan and true Canadian, and I'm here meeting him with the with him today. We're going to talk today, everyone, about what's happening with the banking, uh, the Bank of Canada, the commercial banks. Uh, none of these establishment parties ever want to talk about it, but uh, it's something you need to know, Canadians. You all need to know this issue. Uh, you're getting robbed, aren't they? Well, Ro our banking system is fiat, fiat currency, not money. And what is that? What does fiat mean to the average Canadian? Well, it should mean fake. Fiat means fake. So, is it fake currency? They're just in a, in a fake banking system since 1974, a la. Pierre Elliott, pedophile Trudeau. And didn't he, um, in 1972, he shifted the public lending right from the Bank of Canada to commercial banks? Which are a private entity that print money for themselves, not for the Canadian people. So they're printing money, fiat money, and uh, the government's taking that money and spending it, right? But they're, they're spending it. Uh, and charging interest on it uh, initially, right at the start. Yeah. Honest or washed money has been used once to create that same infrastructure at zero interest. Exactly. And uh, how does this impact the Canadian people? Why should our, our Canadian people, our families, uh, our hardworking Canadian citizens be concerned about this? Well, because fiat currency is not your money, it's their money. Our money is the same as it's been for thousands of years, real money. But also there's all these debt service payments, aren't there? On, the the, on this fiat currency, yes. that, that's the system where when they charge interest on something that has no value, everything crosses the ledger exponentially into their hands. Exactly. And uh, last I look, everyone, nationally we're paying over $64 billion a year in our in our tax dollars to these commercial banks and debt service payments that's nationally which means it's including the federal provincial and municipal governments federally it's over 30 billion a year of your money to these commercial banks everyone that's what's happening and is are do you think this money's trickling back to those big entrenched parties oh probably eh? by the truckload by the truckload <laughs> Because, once again, it's not honest money. Yeah. It's illegitimate yeah. money right. they've created since 1974. Right. And it's a fiat currency. It's not money. It's paper with ones and zeros on it. It's, yeah, I got you. So why do you think they did it? Is this pure corruption and, and at the a, highest level? And a control system. It's a way to control the people so you don't have any honest wealth or real wealth. Real wealth is precious metals. It's been money for thousands of years. Right. A Roman soldier used to get a dime a day. One tenth of a of a silver coin was his wage for being a soldier and living and dying for his state. Yeah. Today we do it for fiat currency that has no value and no is n not a preserver of wealth. It's something that's owned by the central bank or elite system of the world, and you're just a pawn using it. Yeah, and so. Um so do you think uh, the federal government just caved into these uh, big bankers and commercial interests? Well, they bought out Trudeau in 1974. Yeah, yeah, exactly. His prize was Lafarge, Inc. Yeah, and uh, the conservatives are no different. They've just gone along with this, and they say it's good for the economy. Well, there's no difference in, in political parties. They're all in the club, and you yeah. ain't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what we want to do about this, everyone, is reinstitute the 1934 Bank of Canada Act, we want to shift the public lending right back to, to the, the Bank of Canada. To the real Bank of Canada and to the yeah. people of Canada, where we produce our own money, fiat currency, and we put it out there at zero interest, where it builds the infrastructure, schools, highways, and hospitals. That gives it a value. Then it goes into the hands of the contractor who puts it in the bank that then can charge interest on it, and that interest cannot create inflation and cannot control the public. Yeah, so that's what we're interested in doing, everyone. Um, so this is this will be the first stage in a number of um, videos on this topic. And we're, we will be talking about taxation on Tuesday. We're going to go into the 
the GST tax grab and, uh, and the extreme taxation in our country. But um, if, if this message resonates with you, we ask you to donate, to join, uh, become a member, run in 2019 so we can drain these corrupt globalists out of Ottawa. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks very much. Yeah, excellent.